What's good, everyone? Welcome back to another Empire Watch Club. Today, I'm gonna be taking you guys to Rolex, AP, PP, and VC. I wanna take you guys there because I get so many questions on a daily basis asking about all the hot and in-demand watches, about the wait lists, about watch pairings, and um, what happens when you go to one of these ADs or boutiques, how they treat you, and what the wait list actually really is. I'm actually just doing this spontaneously. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. I am going to wear sunglasses. I am going to wear a mask. I don't want them to see me because in Taiwan, I am an actor, I'm a celebrity, and if they recognize me, I don't want to get that special treatment. All right, you can't tell who I am now, right? All right, let's go. I'm ready to do this, guys. Let's go. We are at 101. Let's go find Rolex first. So we are at Rolex right now, and uh, I'm gonna walk in and see how it goes. Hi, ni hao. Oh, okay. Oh, so these are not made, is it? It's a display. Oh, okay, okay. Too much. Too much. Okay. Wow, how much? Not. 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 那个都要等，要等很久是？你是大概多久？好痛啊！要等两三年是？我有一些朋友说，就是说不定配表才可以拿到更快的意思，是不是？我还是要看一下，因为我是有货的时候，你再看一下。We walked into Rolex at 101. The AD, the lady in there was very, very nice. Basically, the impression she gave me was that some stuff needs to be paired to get, I guess, further along the wait list. And basically, as you can see from the video, there was nothing in the store. I'm gonna be walking into a couple other Rolexes, but uh, we're at VC right now, so let's see what happens in VC. You did a good job, keep a low profile. Hi, anyhow. Hi. Hey, there's a this is the one that is the one that is the one that is the one that is the one. Mm-hmm. 目前的话针对大三针蓝面钢的层次的话最快最快可能都要到明年哇现在是四月最快最快到明年对需要配表吗那我们不用表不用配表我们不会超进价也不会配表的好那您有喜欢那我们就会帮您登记了解到了之后就
They even showed me the new 1921, which is really, really dope. That was actually quite surprising, but I'm not that surprised because they are a boutique. Now, the blue dials, nothing, zilch, nada. And we gotta wait till next year. They won't even know when next year. Hey, that might be the next big ticket. And you heard it here first. Well, maybe not first, but you heard it here on EWC. AP is right here. Let's walk into AP. They kind of know who I am. I'm gonna try this. Hopefully they won't know me. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, hi, you're in Sulai. Okay, Okay, fine. How are you in Oh, this is a display only. Oh, okay. Okay, so they recognize me. I'm someone different. I'm just gonna take my glasses off. As you can tell, they're marketing this Panther thing like crazy. This Marvel thing. Okay. Um, well, they do have a bunch of stuff on display. I guess just like everyone else, everything's on display now. Nothing's for sale. They have no idea when anything's gonna come in, none of the new drops. I can tell you that they don't need to pair watches and uh, they won't sell over MSRP here. You just, you just have to wait. And you know, I think that's what they tell everyone. God knows how long. All right, that was an ultimate fail. Let's move on to PP. There is PP. Hi. Oh. Uh, I'm <laughs> 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 We just left uh, PP101 and it seems pretty impossible to get the 5711 green dial. You have to be like their super, super VIP. So for all the other Nautilus or Aquanauts, you kind of have to buy a certain amount and uh, I guess accumulate to a certain status. So they would give you the opportunity or chance to buy a watch like that. That's what it's like. So let's go on Zhongxiao Donglu and check out some other stores. Everyone's going green. Everyone's going green. Green is the new blue. Even the Apple sales guys are all going green. And look, we got Starbucks. <laughs> Everything is green, why? Green, green, green car, oh my God. I can't get away from green, what the fuck? My God, why is everything green now? All right, we are at Zhongxiao Donglu's first stop. I hope they won't recognize me just like AP. Let's get going. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. It's not some of them. Wow. It's not some of them. It's not some of them. I don't know. 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 I don't 他们给你们的很少，现在你没有overseas吗？我们去都要特别订。哦，都要特别订。大家讲是overseas的的蓝面。对，蓝面的。都只有专卖店。哦，所以你们拿不到蓝面的。我们的，他现在不给。哦，there you have it. There's literally nothing in the Rolex stores. It's pretty incredible. And I just found out that they carry VC, but VC is not giving them any more blue dials. That is something very, very interesting. Now, I have never been to this new store. Uh, let's go in, let's check it out. Oh, Mel, I just want to ask them about the new dials. Oh, okay, because the new dials are currently only available to check out. Yes, so it should be a long time. It's not that fast. It's not that fast. I'm going to go. That should be very hard to get, right? Yes. Oh, you're not sure. So it should be no more Roman dials you can see, right? 其实都很少了。<笑> Thank you, 谢谢。
So pretty much they have nothing in there as well. I guess they've given me very like a PR type answers, but once they recognized who I was, they were a lot nicer. At the end, it's still pretty much impossible to get. So why don't we go check out Songmei and see what they have. Okay, well, oh, they got not much on display. Is it male somewhere? <laughs> Looks like there's really nothing, like, of anything. So, I guess you just have to keep waiting. I guess this game is really true, what everyone talks about, this waiting list. It's almost impossible to get like all the popular models. You have to be a super VIP pretty much. And if you're not a super VIP, you're not gonna get that allocation, okay? Let's go to a couple more shops and see if it's the same. I'm a little bit defeated right now. Wow, it's in this one, don't mail. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this exciting, spontaneous, and adventurous vlog. I've never done this, so if you guys like what I did today, let me know in the comments. This is a community, so I would love to hear everyone's thoughts. Please comment, let me know what you guys think of what's going on. I would love to hear what's going on outside of Taipei City. And you know what? I think this is a very, very crazy time right now. It's a very crazy market. A lot of young professionals or just people in general that are planning and that are dreaming about getting their hands on, you know, an entry level luxury sports watch, you're basically out of luck, you know, and it's almost sad to see because all the ADs and all the boutiques are pretty much out of stock. And if they do have stock, they're going to allocate that to their super VIPs. They're accumulating these credits. It's kind of like a credit system, whatever you want to call it, but they're just accumulating watch sales, basically. Like the more watches you buy, the higher chance you will be able to get one of the hot and in demand pieces. And I think this really goes for all the brands that we went to go look at today. I think except for VC. Now, Rolex being Rolex, I have a feeling that they're just playing this game. I'm not really sure how to explain it. Uh, maybe you guys can let me know what you think about the game that Rolex is playing. Going back to Rolex, because I think that's what most of my viewers will be wanting to know more of. It's just extremely, extremely difficult now. And that's why the secondary market and the gray market is so popping. Business is booming for the secondary market. People will have to turn to that. I'm not really sure what the flippers are doing or, or what Rolex is doing or what the dealers are doing, but maybe that's something that we can investigate next. I just felt like uh, PP being PP at the top, they have a certain type of arrogance, but uh, no pun intended. I'm not trying to talk shit to them. I still love PP. When you walk in, they, you know, they give you a certain vibe with their VIPs, you really have to spend upwards of 10, 20 million NTD to be able to get like the top pieces. And I guess that's what they want people to know because even for me, you know, I, I don't think I'd be able to get many pieces anymore. And my last 5980, I had to wait years and I had to buy multiple pieces to get that. So imagine if you weren't a customer of theirs or if you weren't a VIP. I don't know, I feel, I feel kind of shitty about that, but hey, it is what it is, right? That's how the world works. But AP, on the other hand, although they just dropped another stinker, I don't like the code 1159. Um, I'm sorry, AP, but I just don't like that. And I don't like the new concept, the Black Panther. I think that the Royal Oaks will do well, no matter what, and you just have to wait. And I guess just like with any other brand, you have to build that relationship. They don't promote that you have to accumulate buying watches and stuff like that. So I guess you just have to try your luck. 
But uh, with Vashon Constantin, you know, that is the sleeper. I am really liking VC right now. Um, obviously, everyone's very nice, but I think VC was super nice. Um, their attitude, their service. They even uh, welcomed me into like a small VIP room to check out the new 1921. Overseas, that will be the next hype watch. And mark my words, I really believe it. You know, I would love to get my hands on an overseas and do a little review of it and kind of compare the 15202 and the 5711 to the 4500V. That would be epic. So hopefully we will get on that. But anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys wanna see me doing more investigative stuff into the watch world. And I'll see you guys on the next EWC. Peace. Ooh, 993 Carrera S, wide body. That is sexy. Okay, I kind of missed my 993. All right, we'll talk about that on the EMC. All right, bye-bye.